Welcome to pronunciation class. Today's class is about vowels. You probably already know there's five vowels in the alphabet, A, E, I, O, and U. But did you know that there's 20 vowel sounds? Vowels are important to say because they're the sounds we hear most clearly. Listen. My name is Richard Ovid. I think the sounds you heard most clearly are my name is Richard Abend. If you'd have been born in Chicago, like I was, we'd speak English the same way. Because people all over the world have the same mouths and tongues, teeth, vocal cords but we do learn how to use them differently to speak our own languages. In this video, I'll show you how to use your mouth and tongue the way native English speakers do when they say the vowels of English. Actually, it's quite simple, but you need to practice. Luckily for us, there are a few things we can do to make learning pronunciation easier. First, we're going to learn the vowels in groups. And we're also going to use seeing, hearing, and feeling to help us. Watch my mouth. Listen to each sound carefully. E, I, E, A, E, A. Now, we can use feeling to help us with pronunciation also, and I'll show you how. Hold your fingers under your jaw. Say E. 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 Good. Feel your tongue muscles get tense and then relax. Try it again. E. 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 Good. Now you can see we're using a special alphabet. Let me write it down so we can see it. E, I, E, E, A, E, A. And this special alphabet uses straight lines to give us information. The straight line above a letter tells us we need to say the letter a little bit louder and also for a longer time. A curved line tells us that the sound is going to be quieter. And that sound also will be for a shorter time. Okay. Now also, the sounds are written on a half circle. It's hard to see the circle right now, but as we add sounds, you'll see it's going to come back up here again, too. And each vowel's place on the circle shows the height and position of the tongue and jaw. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Oh. Here's my tongue. Yes. <laughs> it's a little bit big, but it helps me eat. OK? So now here we go. I'll show you how the tongue moves. And let's practice this first group of sounds. And E, I, let's call it smile sounds, okay? Watch my tongue. Use a mirror also because the mirror will show you the shape of your mouth. And you'll see your mouth change shapes as we say each sound. And as we go down the vowel circle, our jaw is getting lower also. Okay, maybe I'll show you real quickly. E, I, E, E, A, E, A. Okay, so you ready? Fill your tongue up in the front of your mouth to begin with E, and then feel your tongue drop with each sound. Record yourselves, and let's start with a big smile. Ready? E. 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 Good. I. 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 
A A M M A Great, great. Now our next sound. Excuse me, Mr. Haven. Yeah. You have a telephone call in the office. Okay, thank you. Excuse me for a minute. Don't go away. I'll be right back. I'll make this quick. Hey guys, it's easy for him, but I think so. We need some practice. I think so. That's right. Yeah, we need it. Yeah, I got a neat idea, guys. Why don't you get up by your chairs and let's take a break? Yes. All right, okay. Let's get moving to the beat here. Smile sounds are really quite simple. All you need is a good example. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, and move your body to this funky beat. Say E. E. Say E. E. Repeat it after me. Say E. E. Say E. E. Now you got it. Say E. E. Say E. E. Gonna make you sweat. Say E. E. Say E. E. Just like that. Say E. Uh. E. Uh. Say uh. uh, pump it up, pump it up, say smile, sounds really quite simple, all you need is a good example, clap your hands, stomp your feet, move your body to this funky beat. Here come the teacher guys.